Hey guys, we're back with another educational video and in this week I wanted to talk about a new study that came out on fructose. Fructose has gotten a really bad rap over the last, I don't know, decade due to the increased use of high fructose corn syrup. In fact, some people have pointed to high fructose corn syrup as the main driver of obesity in the United States. And in some ways, if you look at the increase in obesity correlated with sugar sweetened beverage consumption, there is a pretty tight correlation. This has led some people to speculate that fructose in and of itself is uh, inherently more lipogenic than other forms of carbohydrate. A lot of the studies that have been done so far have been in animals, but a recent study uh, that just came out this past month, they fed healthy men high doses of fructose. And when I say high doses, I'm talking about like 150 grams of fructose per day. Now, I have a lot of people who are like, man, can I, can I eat fruit? Is, is fruit gonna hurt me because they've heard all this bad stuff about fructose? Just to put it in perspective, um, 150 grams of fructose a day would be equivalent to about 21 or 22 medium-sized bananas. That's a lot of bananas, all right? Or about 80 ounces of Coke, which is about between six to seven Cokes per day. Now, I will say I've never seen anyone eat 20 plus bananas in a day. Yeah, maybe Freely the Banana Girl. Maybe she's the one. But I definitely have seen people pound down six to seven sodas in a day. So I wouldn't say that the 150 grams is unphysiological. Now what's interesting about this study is they did not see any changes in health markers in these healthy young men over the course of eight weeks. First off, full disclosure, it's only eight weeks. So a lot of people will criticize that, but this was a very tightly controlled study. One of the things you need to understand about studies in humans is that if you want tightly controlled, it's probably gonna be pretty short in duration because budgets will not allow for long, tightly controlled studies with a high subject number. If you want high subject number in humans for a really long time, it's not gonna be very tightly controlled. That's just the way it works. If you want tightly controlled, high subject number over a long period of time, it's gonna be in animals. So that's just kind of the way research works. So I'm not criticizing the study, but it is important to note that it was just eight weeks, but they didn't see any changes. And I, I mean, you can see changes, measurable changes in health markers after a, even a few weeks of overfeeding like saturated fat or sugar or, or anything like that if you're exceeding calorie balance. Now there's the rub. These people did not put on weight, so they did not increase their total calorie consumption, meaning they actually found that these people decreased consumption of other sugars in response to the fructose load. Now, that may be something interesting in and of itself. Perhaps fructose is more satiating. I, I don't know. I want to point out and be really cautious with interpreting this study. What I think the takeaway of the study is, I don't think in reasonably high doses, fructose is inherently fattening compared to other forms of carbohydrate. I think fructose is highly palatable, specifically high fructose corn syrup, and is easy to overeat. Like I said, I've seen people pound down six, seven sodas a day, no problem. That is a problem because they're usually adding that on top of what they're eating. It's not like they drink two or three sodas and go, oh, you know what, I'm gonna reduce my calories from somewhere else to compensate for that. That's not usually how it works. But what I think this study does highlight, these single nutrients do not seem to cause major health decrements in the absence of a caloric surplus. So that's a really important point. Am I saying that you, I know people will straw man this, so am I saying that you should eat fructose? Fuck no, I'm not saying you should eat fructose. Nobody's gonna advise that. I think having fruits and vegetables is a really good idea. I think um, fruits have antioxidants in them, they have fiber, the, they have fructose, yes. But fructose is not the great evil everybody's made it out to be, especially in moderation. The other thing I hear a lot is, well, fructose can only replenish liver glycogen um, and it can't replenish muscle glycogen because muscle lacks the enzyme to convert fructose into glycogen. That is true. However, people, this is the problem with these kind of biochemistry style thinking, which is linear thinking. And I used, I graduated with a degree in biochemistry and I thought this way for a long time. You fail to take into account overall physiology. So yes, 
Fructose cannot be stored directly in muscle as glycogen. However, it can be stored in liver. And what that tends to do is spare other forms of carbohydrate for storage in muscle glycogen. In fact, when they give sucrose, which is 50-50 fructose and glucose, versus glucose, they actually find that muscle glycogen replenishment is just as good. So this idea that you shouldn't have any fructose because it's going to somehow rob your muscle glycogen, that's just not true. So you don't need to worry about that. Um, again, I'm not saying you should have a lot of sucrose, added sugar, or high fructose corn syrup. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if you have some fructose in moderation, it doesn't appear to be harmful for you in the absence of a calorie surplus. By the way, you guys may not know, we're having a pre-sale on our reverse dieting book. Uh, this is a book done completely about reverse dieting, everything you've ever wanted to know. And right now, the pre-sale, you get 40% off if you purchase during the pre-sale. So it will never be this cheap again. So if you click the link in the description, you can go to the pre-sale, get in on it. We anticipate the eBooks will be going out very, very soon. So get in on this, it'll never be cheaper. All right guys, that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed the educational video and I'll catch you next week.